I was born on a Friday afternoon late, and on Sunday afternoon, early, they took me to St. Edward Church to be baptized. We lived four doors from the church and convent. The sisters, the Ursuline sisters, came out, and they all wanted to hold the baby. And they passed me around, and one of them gave me a blessing. Now, I hear this, I don't know it, that Sister Mary DeSales blessed me and said, someday you'll join us. And my family didn't tell me that until one day I was really being bad in their opinion. And they said, you can't be so bad. You've got to be an Ursuline because Sister said so. And I said, what's this about? And uh, I just laughed about it. But I really believe in a call. And I think that may have started my vocation because I would slip off from home a lot and go up and sit with the sisters in the swing and talk to them or listen to them pray or talk. And I always enjoyed it. I got a scholarship to Mount St. Joseph. My dad thought that was a good idea for me to go there and get the best education I could get. So I went to the Mount, and while I was there, I was further influenced by the Ursuline sisters. I had marvelous teachers, marvelous mentors. I felt these women were very, very dedicated. Because we lived so closely with them, I saw their flaws, their warts, as some people say. but. It just made them more human to me and let me know that I didn't have to be perfect to be a sister. I just had to have good intentions. I had to be willing to follow the rules to pray. Uh, praying was easier than following the rules sometimes. But I decided that after I graduated from high school that I would give the common a try. My father was very happy. My mother was very upset. She would not even be in the state of Kentucky the day I entered the Ursuline Sisters of Mount St. Joseph. That was hard on me. I didn't hear from her for over two years after I entered. But my, I'm an only child, and my mother wanted grandchildren so badly, and she would have been a wonderful grandmother. So I felt like I denied her something, but I go back to this call that I felt really called to do that, and if I hadn't at least given it a try... I don't think I could have ever been comfortable with myself. And I was especially called to Angela Marisi, and I've never regretted that for a day. I think her outline for religious life in a modern world is where it is today. We have both the contemplative and the active life. We have to be there where the tire hits the road, but we have to back that up with our prayer, our meditation, our good intentions. But I really believe that religious life helps us to be the prophets of the church. We are able to do things and be someone that maybe we could not make as much of an impact otherwise. I respect all women. I respect all religious women. But I guess I especially respect the Ursuline Sisters and even more especially the Ursuline Sisters of Mount St. Joseph. And I am so proud and happy to be one.